in this experiment we will discuss how to draw the bh curve of iron using solenoid and how to determine the energy loss from hysteresis and in this experiment we have taken a iron bar in the form of a cycle spoke and we will find out the bh curve of iron you see first of all you have to set up the cro by adjusting the time per division switch this is the time for division switch of cro to make the electron beam to focus at the center of the screen you see in this beam is at the center of the screen then you connect the input and output of the solenoid to the two channels of the cro and you connect the arthing of the cro with the arthing of the solenoid so you see i have connected uh, the two channels of the cro now i have uh, i am switching on the circuit and you adjust uh, now you supply the input voltage i have given the input voltage to 4 volt now i am switching on the cro you see when you switch on the cro a spot will come after adjusting the time per division switch now i have i again i am showing how i have connected the two channels x and y channel of the cro with the solenoid one to the input of the solenoid and another to the output and um the third one is the uh, arthing point and you see when uh, you supply the input voltage i have given here the input voltage 2 volt and i have short circuited the ammeter and uh, you see if you switch on the circuit what you will see you will see a straight line you see in the screen you will see a straight line curve between x and y but when you insert the iron rod that is the cycle spoke i am inserting the cycle spoke you see in the cro screen you have a hysteresis loop in the cro screen you clearly you can see the hysteresis loop i am inserting two cycle spokes and you see how the area of the loop is increasing i am increasing the number of cycle sp spoke to 3 and again you see how the area of the loop is again increasing so this clearly shows that as you know magnetic flux density b is equal to mu 0 into h plus m h is the magnetic field intensity and uh, is the magnetization so when in the presence of the ferromagnetic material the magnetization occurs and uh, that is why you are getting the hysteresis loop that is the loss of magnetism and you uh, find out loss by the help of a trace paper that is by the help of trace paper we can draw the area of the loop and we can calculate the energy loss due to hysteresis in ferromagnetic material thank you